coach. strong team Southwick. Yeah. So. They have kind of a good tradition for a small town of, of soccer. Yeah. Well, it all depends who you play you know, too. Right? Actually, I don't know if they saw it. Gotta take them where you get them. Least favorite part about the video is I have a hard time not talking, so <laughs> don't like it. Is there any way to mute it? <laughs> well, then you get none of the sounds. It's too bad. Yeah, that's my least favorite part. Mm -hmm. yeah, all the videos I make. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Oh. Yeah, Jay. Way to be, though. Good hustle, Jay. That guy looks like he's got a camera ready. So maybe wonder how his, uh, if they take that and put it up anywhere for Southwick or something, maybe. Yeah, that's this is dad, maybe. Oh, I love actually seeing them pass with some weight on it. It's nice, right? Yeah. Good job, Logan. Nice. Good cross. Nobody did. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. And now I'm talking, so. Oh, it's fine. I talk during it. I talk during it. I just try to be able to doing it and not try to you know, point anyone out too much individually. Just general, general, gentle narration. Just the basics, you know, just the basics.
you know, why not? I would like to see these guys take more long shots because. Well, you know, dancing up to the doorway isn't really. I mean, either possess well around the box or take some long shots, but you got to get one or the other. In this game, though, we're possessing in front of the box because we seem to, you know, not be playing a team that's overwhelming. Yeah, there was, I mean, these guys, the last couple games have been a little intent on moving the ball quicker, it seems. Jay got up there making his runs. Oh, White ball. Who's um, 14? Uh, 14 is Andre Marquis. Andre. <laughs> nice rip, Ben. Good idea. Good idea, Ben. Nice rip, guys. play structure, but it's caution taped off. Actually, I've discovered now at home, the best spot is in the score booth. It's like the perfect height, and I can rest the camera tripod on the desk, and it's actually the best view I've gotten. Stepkids, their grandparents live nearby, and that's yeah, really that's nice. Oh, no healthy and well and able. Well, you know, there's been some knee surgeries and things like that. team is that that he plays for? Yeah, GPS and NEFC seem to have taken over the whole thing, basically. Yeah, it's distasteful, but... Well, the whole thing's a little dis... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sad. I feel like it's really drained the towns. It's disappointing to me in that it drains the towns of their camaraderie and their, you know, core groups of players a lot of the time. Um, but the towns don't always have the facilities and resources, so it's understandable. I think the issue is for some kids, they need that level, that next level. Most of them don't, and, and that's the issue. Most of them don't. So I'm, I'm all for the opportunities being there for kids when they need them. But, you know, 
it's just more about nice why are you not following that guys that's a goal right there follow him every time it's just a no-brainer especially you know keepers make a lot of errors at this age i agree with you 100 percent john i don't want to sound like oh but my kid oh no i get it yeah yeah and it wasn't me right but he's like eve you know eve yeah Yeah, well, that makes sense, but he's, he's you know, a different player than most. He's got some real... Um, he's really blossomed yeah. there, you know, yeah. and he's grown to love this game. And yeah. It's like... Yeah. And, and again, it isn't, like I said, I don't fundamentally have any issue with kids oh, yeah. nice going gym. and getting Woo! good training and nice. private clubs. It's just... Again, it, it, it's become the thing where people believe they need to pay X amount of dollars to get the training. And I just, not that the local clubs necessarily have all the training you need, but neither do those clubs necessarily. They don't always have what you're looking for. And not every kid is going to get the same type of opportunity to, to train and get better, you know. The thing I don't like about these big ones especially, I mean, I feel like it was different when there were local premier clubs like even yeah. western united western's a great club yeah and they've like suffered them. because of yeah. nefc but and that's the kind of spirit that is a little more you know it's more community oriented and right. it's more um right. a lot of the kids who play on the team are also playing on the pvjsl team and the local club you know so it's just yeah that's like you said it's a little more but um, Local. the thing with this gps model is that they'll have three tiers of players they're collecting the same money from all those families. Yeah. And the kids who are playing on the C team are, <laughs> you know, they should be playing park and rec. They yep. Should they shouldn't be paying that kind of money, yeah. They should not be taking those people's money. It's not right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, and again, if you knew that you were getting guaranteed high-quality training all the time, that's a thing, but that's not always the case, you know. Johnny loves this guy. Yeah. And he's, he's an excellent Yeah, yeah. He's, it's his, you know, he's, he's a fanatic. That's great. <laughs> this is his dad. He was the Westfield State coach for years. Oh, okay. And, uh, that's cool. Yeah, they have a pretty, I've heard good things about their current coach as well. My wife teaches at Westfield. Um, I don't know anything about their current program, but... Yeah, Noah played for Western for a little bit, and that was he had a great experience there. Um, but to be honest, he played on like a B team and had a great coach. The A team was kind of that like classic sort of. Come on, win that, win that. You know, kind of old school coach, very, um, and obviously he got results. But I'm not sure that like, I've heard a lot of people kind of complain about some of that stuff but the, um, but I like that club I like the people I knew there it was nice he just he wasn't into the travel and yeah he didn't really necessarily get have a team that he like connected a lot with you know yeah. it wasn't like he dropped into a team and like really felt felt like it was a home base so well and a lot of those kids who are on that club are from uh, Wilbraham or, or Ludlow and so the kids live near each other or go to mm -hmm. school together so they have a little built-in connection yeah. it's hard to be the out-of-towner well, what's nice now is that at NSC, they're starting to field some, well, as you know, right, don't your kids play on there? Starting to field some premier teams, which is great, because yeah. then you can keep the kids Stay playing in together. The club, but also compete at yeah. a level that... Because these guys, the current senior class, definitely suffered from, uh, you know, kids coming and going a lot throughout the years. They never they never played together consistently. Year in and year. They had a lot of, a lot of guys kind of could come and go. And, um, you know, and I think that makes the, ultimately makes the team less than it would be. You know. yeah. The boys who are in Johnny's he's last the ninth graders have been together for a while. That's nice, yeah. Well, Northampton Soccer Club is much stronger now than it was. So we didn't have the soccer fields there. All the money used to go to paying for the fields, which were not very good. There was no coaching director, so there was no help for coaches who needed 
it. Um, you know, there, there wasn't a consistent, like, club philosophy of play or anything. Any coach is really being held accountable to any kind of standard. So it was, um, you know, it's just, it was just kind of a ragtag thing. And it really shifted a lot, whatever, you know, four or five years ago. And has been shifting a lot. And, um, well, thank you. In Chester, Indiana. It's near Manchester. Yeah. Well, that's why this, this team, this senior class, is... Like I've said, they're sort of the last of the old school model in a way who never had the opportunity to grow up kind of getting. But yeah, but the good thing was, say, Mark at least had his own team that he really held together. But no other teams really did have that same thing at the time, you know. So, um, but um, you know, I've always been disappointed just because I know that these guys have so much more in them. You know, yes. And it's been a, a tough go to watch them. Nice, Chris. Nice, good rip. Good try, Chris. Way to be there, Chris. Good positioning. Good movement, White. Nice ball in there, Logan. Now they're uh, Noah and Johnny again. They got subbed. I like when they play together. <laughs> I mean, they do play kind of similarly, so I understand. But they're nice when they play together. It's nice, and they, you know, they make it happen. I really prefer him to be an international So uh, that's that's his teammate, his buddy, uh, is number seven, and he's okay. he's the coach's son. Paul is an excellent player. So is that his, is he uh, been coaching this team for a while or kind of new yeah, to him? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Johnny's third year with them. Oh, no, but I mean the, um, oh, the, the, the high, high school. school team? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they had, he was assistant coach How would I know? for a couple of years. And like his own high school coach was the head coach. <laughs> so it's a very familial thing. Yeah. You know what I think would be fun to see like a Northampton High School alumni summer team in the summer league, the men's league, and see the boys like as they, you know, come back from college or they're older, play together there. Because there's, um, the summer leagues are cool, the adult leagues, but I know sometimes it's hard to get situated on a team or find a group because I don't think Northampton currently has, like for a bit there was a team out of Northampton, but I don't think there is right now. Too, the men's league, yeah, yeah, it's kind of nasty. No, but I'm, I mean when they're older, when they're you know after they graduate, it is kind of brutal. That's this is actually um, this year has been. Yes, keep coming, White. Keep coming. Who's he got? Who's he got? This year has actually been the least violent play I've ever seen this high school year. Yep. Wow. I mean, it's actually been quite. Yeah, it's not hasn't been quite clean the whole year. Every single game, I feel like we've been as dirty as any other team, which is never the case. Oh, nice Brady. We're usually much softer. But I feel like we've been as obnoxious as anyone this year. Yeah, you know, they, they need a little more of it, I think. Yeah, Chris! Good way to be there, though. Good try, Chris John! Love it. I think the 
the other thing I don't like about it or about the premier stuff is just how um, white privileged it makes me yeah, feel. Yeah, the whole, I mean, you the know, whole like, thing. It's just pay to play. Yeah. And I, the, the, the elitism of all the sports yeah. that gets a little, gets tiring. I've, and then I feel like, but, you know, what do I want my kid to be the guinea pig that I don't give the opportunity to? You know? So yeah, no, I get you. I, I get that. you. Laundry, get up here, poor guy. Give him something. Feels wrong. I'm not sure what that was. I think he was trying to chip it up to the corner, but a little much. You know, the other thing, again, about the, like, over-organization of the way we do it here is that then when the kids often aren't involved in a league or something, then they never play. They don't go to pick yeah. up games. They don't, yeah. you know, nothing like that. Right. Matt Card talks about that a lot. Yeah. About growing up in England and everybody just playing all the time. Oh, That's pretty disappointing. Most of the game, but I think we'll get it back. They're excited. They don't score a lot either. Hey. Oh my gosh. Took him out. <laughs> yes, Brady, good touch, good touch. Nice, nice. Get to. Come on, win it, win it, win it, win it. Come on, John. Get there, get, get there. there. Oh. Good try, Christian. Nice try. Keep going, keep going, guys. Keep it up. Yeah, they'll score some. This field looks pretty nice, actually, too. Yeah. Good hustle, Christian. Topic has been frustrating for Yeah, I know. And um, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> More later.
Blair White, good play.
Good idea, guys. They play in a real tough division. So they play. Yeah, but no, and they're just playing in too hard a division right now. Is the thing, you know? If they played like teams of this level, is really where more they belong right now. But. They wind up playing a lot of Ludlow, Longmeadow, Amherst, all those guys, so. Keep going, Hamp. Let's go. be honest, I always feel like if Lars or Noah isn't in the midfield, it loses its shape. At least one of them. At least one of them at all times. Needs to be in, because they're both, 
they just hold it together back there. They keep people, they keep the midfield in a particular alignment. You know? Nice, White, keep that up. I could, excuse me, I could.
Nice. Keep going, White. You guys have had plenty of chances. Keep it up. Good idea, Jay. Nice set of touches before, guys, to set that up. Come on, we got some numbers in the box, guys. We got two guys ready to run. Let's go. Nice. Finish, John. Yeah, Johnny. There you go. Nice, guys. Good goal. Keep it going. Hey, White, it should be that easy. Come on, keep playing. Two more. You don't have to press that hard, guys. Just keep it simple. Behind you, Johnny. Straight to the box, Noah. Take your time on those guys.
It's all right, Alex. Keep your head up. Support each other, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up, guys. Support each other and make those simple passes. Come on. You guys could be scoring with nice and easy passes. You don't need to force it. Good. Slide it. Corner, nice. Defense tight up. Someone, where are you guys? Come on. Thank you. 
about you. Nice, Sam. Really good ball. Ooh. Come on, guys. Too much. Slow it down. Have some composure. Calm. Cool. That was fairly ridiculous. What are you guys? What's going on? Come on, White, also. And literally every single time Johnny and Noah sub, the two never play together in the midfield. Let's see it. Let them play together in the midfield. Or...
Shape up, Hamp! Shape up! Spread out! Come on! Nice. Good communication. Logan and Sam. Surf. Oh, come on, guys. Settle those a little bit. Yeah, you guys are forcing those shots. Nice pressure. Nice job, guys. Good idea, Lars. This is the only time I've thought you guys are trying to rush your shots. Normally, I think you got to get them off quicker. Today, I think you're rushing them. It's easier than you think to score on these guys. <laughs> Guys, you got to spread out for each other. Find some shape. Come on. Get ahead into the corners too, guys. Touch now. Good ball, man. Keep that going, guys. Go direct like that. Come on, get on that. Heads in the box, White. Nice. Here you go, guys. She's not here. She show up. Go, Ben. It's a close wall right there. Four forty, Santa. She just got out. She probably out with shit. Keep it simpler, guys. Nice, Marshall. You got it.
Yeah, guys, that was quick. Very nice. Keep going, keep going. Keep it up, White. Touch it in, Sammy. There you go. Back to Sam or Jay. Save that, Sammy. Yeah. What a ball. Great ball, Sam. Good idea, White. Keep going. Yeah, Paul. That's, come on, are you joking? There's, that was so clean. Great play, Paul. Great play. Is that a PK for what? Are you kidding? Really? <laughs> that was pretty soft. Keep going, White. Let's get another couple. Nice touch, Tommy. Yeah, bad way to finish. There you go, guys. Keep going. Go hard, White. What's that? Oh. Yeah, man. Slip one in. I don't remember. There was this nice teamwork. Tommy set up a nice touch forward. It was a good team goal, and Ben finished it. It was. I didn't see uh, more. Yeah, this is a disappointing game. This. Uh, this was a very winnable one here. Yeah. And you know, these guys actually have done a really good job defending the final third this year at certain times. Today was pretty rough in that department. I'm not sure what's going on. Seems like a lot of missed marks out there in the defense today. So many uh, players too. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes that's more challenging too, you know? Then you deal with a whole other aspect of the game as a coach, which is how to get everyone time and how to use everyone. So yeah. It's easiest when you have less players.
they had a lot of positives today, but you know, it was very disappointing. The weather's been nice. Yeah, it held up pretty good. It's not very, it's a pretty wide lens. This is as zoomed as it gets. Is that a Lumix? Uh, yeah, it's the school's camera. I borrowed it. And, um, you know, uh, it's been fine. Nothing special. Honestly, I, uh, it's been very overexposed in general. I've been having a hard time. I've been playing with the white balance and the film speed, which is about all I can do on the film. And, uh, this stuff's been kind of weird, but the darker weather's good. It really doesn't shoot good video in full sun, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it's fish yeah the, no, it's, it's actually the night games come out the best in some ways. Just think it likes the contrast or something. There's yeah, it loses contrast and everything gets kind of washed out a little bit when it's sunny. Can you on the screen too? You oh on the screen? No, I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. No. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, I know, you know, that would be another thing too, to be able to zoom in and out. Um, to be able to zoom in and out, like, in a way that didn't require, you know, just trying to operate the yeah, tiny flash, little lens. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Anthony. There you go. Foot operated zooms. <laughs> Put operated drone zoom anyway. The drone, yeah, drone would be nice, huh? Can we cover the goggles? That, that, yeah, that actually would be probably really nice to Very have nice drone Sundays. video. Yeah. The foliage in the background too. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, it's, again, yeah everything seems to come out more with more contrast in the slightly darker days. I was going to say, these guys, for the first time ever, my critique is that they're rushing. Actually. Normally, they're uh, abysmally slow to pull the trigger. Today, I think, actually, this team, they could be scoring off if they were much more calm and collected in the box. Yeah, those they're, shots. Yeah, they're not having a hard time possessing around the box. They're really not. But then they're, you know, kind of rushing their shots. At least they're getting them off, which is nice. But yeah. I do feel like today's the first time where I would, I would advise them to kind of chill out on the shot taking and look for slotting easier goals as a team. Oh, cool, cool. Thank you. 
you know, I've kind of gotten used to it. At first, I didn't really enjoy it, and now I've gotten able to do it without really looking at the thing very much. So I just kind of keep an eye on it on the yeah, thank corner you. of my eye. Just any time. You can always yeah, nod cool. to me if you thank get tired you. of your legs. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. was really, I did not understand that last PK at all. I thought Paul's tackle was totally clean. It was forceful. turning it off and on actually I didn't mean to I meant to every now and then I just refocus by pressing the focus halfway but it sometimes it uh, shuts off yeah with the time code continuously running good for playback later yeah you actually have to stop it quite a bit because um, it'll only do well today it's doing 30 minutes at a time so it's 20 minutes at a time so Yeah, this actually isn't 4K because it's just too big, yeah. I actually, I've been shooting at, I don't know what, 10, just like 10, 20, 30 frames, and that's been fine. The other day I did something like like a little higher than that, and it wound up filling up a 32 gig card or something crazy like that. 20 by 1080. Yeah. Yeah, and then where to start? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because then you load them to YouTube or wherever, which is where oh. everyone watches them, and they downgrade it anyway. Oh, like how are the upload times? Uh, it takes a while. Yeah, it definitely does. I haven't really been doing it. Um, I think Ben's been putting up up on YouTube. He wants to chunk it. I don't know if that would help to chunk it. Yeah, we do. He actually winds up putting it together. Oh. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Like they can take take their time on these a little bit rather than the, um, but anyway the Ben winds up putting them all together on YouTube so I'm not sure exactly how that works but I just shoot them in like 20 minute chunks or whatever okay It's warmer today. Yeah, I know. I thought it was going to be a miserable day. Yeah, but with rain and cold and yeah. sicknesses. Yeah, like that Long Meadow game the other day. Actually, yeah, our home game the other day was pretty rough. The uh, I think I, stay, I, stayed, game. I stayed in the car, <laughs> watched from there. I actually watched from the score box. <laughs> I, oh, I ran nice. the scoreboard and <laughs> I need help up and, there too. Uh, <laughs> and uh, shot the video from there. That's a good place to shoot <laughs> oh, the video, nice. actually. Good idea, guys. Good pressure. Yeah, the biggest thing about shooting that I learned this year is actually if I had had a much better tripod, that would make a lot yeah, of difference. Yeah, like food head. Yeah, this um, definitely is, you know, kind of choppy. And yeah, I had, that, I had that some experience. The fluid head ones are so not so portable. <laughs> some, sometimes. No. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Oh. I did. It just pan. That looked a little scary right there.
Yeah, Bodie, finish that. Yeah, Bodie. Oh. Huh? Right. <laughs>